Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to carry out K-means clustering using RStudio. The video will include Determine and visualize optimal number of K-mean clusters. Computing K-means clusters on a data matrix. Access different components of K-means clustering result. Directly computing means using aggregate function. Adding clustering classification to each observation using C-bind function. Before starting K-means clustering, I would suggest you should go through a previous video on how to prepare file and import data in RStudio. The link is also provided in the description. K-means is a type of clustering, in which, each cluster is presented by the center or means of the data points belonging to the cluster. The K-means method is sensitive to anomalous data points and outliers. The first step for K-means clustering is to determine and visualize the optical number of clusters. To determine the optimal number of clusters fvis nb clust function is used. In method argument you can use elbow, silhouette, and gap statistic method. For k-means clustering the appropriate method to be used is elbow method which is represented as WSS. Silhouette and gap statistic are more suitable for PAM and Clara partitioning methods which will be discussed later in upcoming videos. Use library function to load the facto extra package. To visualize the optimum number of k-mean clusters use fvis nb clust function. Use WSS in method argument for elbow method. The bend or knee in the plot is generally considered as an indicator of the optimal number of clusters. Within sum of square is drawn according to the number of clusters in this method. The plot shows variance decreases as k number increases. A bend or elbow can be seen at k equals 4. This bend indicates that additional clusters beyond 4 have little value. So we shall classify observations into 4 clusters. To draw reference line to the plot, you can add gmv line function to previous fvis nb clust function. Use 4 for x intercept value and 2 value for line type to draw segmented line. To add subtitle below the main title use labels function with the previous command. Now the turn is to compute k-means clustering. First set a seed using set.seed function. It will generate random numbers to randomly select centroids for k-means algorithms. To compute k-means use k-means function. Use 4 for k-means and 25 for n start argument. The default value of n start in R is 1. Using large value for n start is recommended that is 25 or 50 in order to have more stable result. To print the k-means use print function. The output shows the cluster means or centers where rows represent clusters and columns represent variables. Second it displays clustering vector indicating the clusters to which each point is allocated. K-means cluster returns a list of components which include clusters, a matrix of cluster centers or means, the total sum of squares, within cluster sum of squares total within cluster sum of squares between cluster sum of squares and size which represents number of observations in each cluster to access each component use dollar sign before the component in k-means result to access cluster component use dollar sign before cluster in k-means result to access cluster means use dollar sign before centers in k-means result to access size use dollar sign before size in k-means result. You can also print means or center using aggregate function for each cluster. In, by argument, use list function to assign cluster from k-means results. Use cbind function to add the point classifications to the original data. Head function will print results up to 6 rows. The display represents observations of each variable that belongs to the specific clustering group. In the next video I shall show you how to visualize k-means clusters. I hope this video will help you to carry out cluster analysis in R. Please comment below if you have any questions.